Hello everyone and welcome to Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Sorry it's taken so long to get started on this, but I'm very excited. Hopefully everything is set up correctly. I wasn't sure again which screen is better to have bigger. I'm hoping I went with what I did for uh, the Curious Village, so hopefully that is right this time around. Please enter your name. Uh, M A R. I can't. I. Oop, oh my God. We're off to a good start. I spelled. I spelled my own name wrong. Patrick. There we go. Cool. America fiction. All right. So it's totally real. Believe everything you see. It actually happened. That brings death upon any who dare open it. Tell me. Do you think those rumors could be true? I don't know, after the last game, I could believe it. Man, for the DS, these are some nice cutscenes. Hey, look! There it is! Turn up the volume just a little bit for you guys. Oh, she's with us, too. Wait! He's still around? Oh, that was his imposter, never mind, that we got in the last game. Now this is what I call deluxe. Just look at this room! Yes, I can certainly see why some call the Molin Teddy Express a cruise ship on rails. <laughs> this sofa's great! <laughs> now don't forget, Luke. A gentleman pays attention to his manners. In every setting. That did look like a nice car, by the way. <laughs> like, like I could see just hanging out in there for a few hours. Put my feet up, have my switch. I almost considered playing this on Android, but I wasn't sure how easy that would be to record. Or like, how I would even go about doing that. So what's the actual story behind the Elysian box anyway? All who open it die, huh? Hmm, sounds awfully fishy to me. Perhaps so. But we've seen it happen with our very own eyes. The answer is out there, Luke. But I just need to find it. We will. I know it. Prologue, the Elysian box. Okay, I'm going to turn the volume back down a little bit. Hopefully it's uh, still good. Hopefully you guys got to catch most of that cutscene. To my dear friend, Matrick. There was a box that was rumored to kill anyone who opened it. At first, neither the professor nor I believed it. But all that changed with the arrival of a single letter. few days earlier. Luke, have a look here. Oh, do they like voice act all of it? Oh, what's that, Professor? It's a letter from my dear friend and mentor, Dr. Andrew Schrader. Is everything all right? I'm just going to be sitting husband, here. <laughs> knowing you, I imagine you've already heard of the relic known as the Elysian Box. I've not not heard of it. Right, I'm going to turn the volume back up on the game. I talk about this all the time. They're like, there are these little bars letting me know the levels. They're completely useless in figuring out how well you'll be able to hear some of this stuff. But hopefully this helps and isn't too loud with the music and drowning this me out. strange antique is infamous for killing anyone who opens it. Truth be told, I'm a bit dubious of the box's murderous reputation. But you know how I am. I do. Once something piques my interest, I simply must get to the bottom of it. Okay, I can relate to that. That's why I'm pleased as punch to tell you that the elusive item is finally in my possession. 
You're pleased about this. Okay. What's more, I believe I'm on the cusp of unraveling a great mystery tied to this box. For the moment, let's just say I have a theory, though I haven't been able to prove it yet. Initially, it was my intention to finish my research before daring to open its lid. Oh, he's going to be so dead when we get there. But I must confess that my curiosity is simply overpowering. In the unlikely event that anything should happen to me, please finish the work I've started here. Your friend, Andrew Schrader. Poor Andrew. According to the postmark, this letter was sent two days ago. We should go pay the doctor a visit. Man, it must be nice to get mail in two days. I just can't shake the feeling that something awful has happened. Well, your intuition's usually spot on. I say we head out right away. Type of mystery for more details. Tell me. The Elysian box is an antique said to bring death upon any who dare open its lid. According to the rumors, the box has already claimed many lives and is feared in many parts of the world. Could the strange item truly exist? I'm really looking ahead to all the other mysteries we're going to have to solve. I see like a castle and kid. And I have to fight a sneeze. I think I'm done. Luke, before we go, would you be so kind as to fetch my keys? They're in one of the drawers on that desk. Sure thing, Professor. Um, if there's something you wish to inspect, Luke, simply give it a tap. Luke must find the keys to the Professor's car. Search by tapping the desk drawers. Alright, I'm going to turn the volume back down. Tap to investigate. Alright. Eh, 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 eh. Look at all those thick books. No wonder the Professor's so smart. Wow, that's a lot of documents. What on earth are all these funny little things on the shelf? Who knew the professor was such a pack rat? Apparently, uncomfortable chairs make you smarter, but less relaxed, so is it really worth it? Oh, there we go. Oh, here we are, Professor. You got Layton's keys. You can find items you pick up in the Professor's trunk. Many thanks, Luke. Now, let's get moving. You do know how to move about, don't you, Luke? Put one leg in front of the other until you're about to walk into something. Then pick another direction. You bet I do. Let's see. First off, I tap the shoe on the lower right corner. Then I just tap one of the little arrows that appear to move in that direction. That's exactly right. Anytime you want to move, start by giving the shoe icon a tap. Go on, try it out. Can't fool me, there's there's coins in here somewhere. Wait. No proper study should be without a little greenery. Come on, there's a... A lovely view is the perfect antidote to lo working long hours. Are there no coins in this game? We'll do what the game tells us. That's the way, my boy. One can't investigate properly without first doing a little legwork, as they say. I couldn't agree more, Professor. Shall we head off? A plant or some other decoration would add some cheer here. Is that going to be a thing later? Is that an office or a cafe? Look at all the appointments and meetings posted here. There's no doubt which office belongs to the professor. Alright. Luke, before we set out, it would be wise of us to confirm the location of the doctor's flat. During one of his visits some time ago, he was kind enough to leave me a map of his home. The map you can see is a rather unusual piece of cartography. Look here, Luke. I sense a puzzle. How clever! The map itself is a puzzle! Professor, do you mind if I take a crack at it? I just know I can solve this one. Puzzle number one! Alright, here we go! 
How many uh, picarettes? In the map to Dr. Schrader's home, several pieces in the center have been cut out. Restore the map by inserting the missing pieces in the correct spots. Touch a piece with your stylus to grab it, then slide your stylus to move the selected piece onto the screen. You can't rotate the pieces. Okay, that should help. It may sound simple, but don't forget you can move or remove pieces, including the one already in the middle of the map. Oh, so that one can be wrong? What? Well, if that... Okay, so I thought it was giving me... Yep, yeah, okay. So I thought it was giving me something to work with. Oh, that makes it more difficult. Alright, I think I see... Am I right? Yeah, hold on, because that, that misses, that misses, that definitely misses, I'm not going to bother there, and that, okay, so, so that's, that has to go there, there's nothing else that makes sense. How could that... Nope, that doesn't line up quite right. Nope. That one... Oh, that one lines up with everything. Oh, this one doesn't line up either. Oh, shoot. Let me get that one out of my face for a second, because it's throwing me off. Okay. So get I, I I get it now. I get it. I get it. So I have to use what's. I I wish I could have gotten rid of that piece from the start and just started from scratch. That's probably the point though, is to throw you off a little bit. I didn't even. I I was just looking at the edge and I'm like nothing else fits. I didn't even catch that it didn't make sense with this piece, which actually is nice because it eliminates that piece. I think this is, wait, one, two, so, oh, there's an extra piece. Okay. So didn't I saw, decide that had to go there? Yeah. Right, I think I see where this has to go as well. Yep. Yep, and then... There we go. Okay, that was a two... Once I figured out what I was doing, that wasn't too bad, obviously, for, like, a first puzzle. Wouldn't expect it to be... too crazy. Hmm. Let's see if this works. There we go. Almost too easy. Yes, very easy, and not at all tripped me up. Excellent work, now hop to it. You've got to get to Dr. Schrader's apartment. Picarettes are points that indicate the puzzle's difficulty. The more picarettes a puzzle is worth. Uh, by the way, they're they're picarettes. I don't know how they're actually supposed to be pronounced, but uh, they in the first game they became picarettes, as in like Pika, a Pikachu rat. <laughs> when you submit an incorrect answer for a puzzle, the number of picarettes you can earn from that puzzle decreases. So think carefully before answering. Once you've beaten the game and saved, go to the bonuses section and load your game file. From there, you can enter the top secret area where the number of fun extras are waiting for you. The more picarettes you earn, the more extras you unlock. Okay. Interesting. I wonder how involved the post game is. Because we didn't really end up doing any post game from the Curious Village. I wanted to. I just never got to it. I, I, did, I did want to check that out, but... It is what it is. Excellent. With our destination confirmed, we are ready to pay the doctor a visit. Come now. Puzzle one. We did it. We didn't lose any points. 
Another cutscene. That is hardly worth turning the volume up for, huh? I like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to lose the the voices. I do believe we found the doctor's building. But which flat is his? That I'm afraid I don't know. But I'm sure there will be a puzzle that will tell us. But thinking on it now, the letter I received did mention something about this place. I didn't see it coming. Okay. Find Dr. Schrader's window from the details in his letter. In the morning, I often awaken to the sound of music drifting in from nearby the nearby flat. Looking out, I spy a flag fluttering gently outside my window, taking a sip of s single sip of tea and turn my attention to the morning sun. Not many flats in London have a view of the sunrise anymore, you know. Circle the window from which the doctor views the sunrise. All right, got it. Okay. So, so, I think that what I what I can rule out are all the windows facing to the right. That like row of three or column of three there. I think I can rule out. I'm gonna make it to the sound of music. So that would be. Can I. That would be that one. So it's not. It's by a flag fluttering gently outside my window. Okay. So it could be. Alright, hold on. So it can't be that one. All right, here. Eh, eh, eh. I spy a flag fluttering gently outside my window, take a single sip of my tea, Turn my attention to the morning sun. All right, so those three have flags. This doesn't look like a flag. All right. I'm wondering, would you really be able to see the sun that well from the bottom? Like a sunrise? I don't think you would. I don't think you'd be able to see the sunrise very well. I feel like I can't, uh, I can't, I wish I could not clear the whole thing. I'm, I'm actually like less convinced about that. When she views the sunrise. Okay, so the flag is outside his window.
Would he be able to see the white flag from... From his window if it's underneath? I bet that's it. Okay. Right? Because that one, as, it, as it's fluttering, would be in his view. I don't think the white one would. Oh, I like that it confirms, like, which one we're looking at. Consider this puzzle solved. Woo! Okay. Got it. Leaves no puzzle unsolved. That's right. Now you know where it is. Head for the doctor's home. I kind of wish it would have explained. I would love to know if my logic was correct. Like, I was like, oh, he probably can't see the sunrise from the bottom areas of the flag. I wish I wish it did kind of explain that, because I I feel like I, I thought that through well, but always nice to know that I'm, I'm in sync with what the game is thinking. Unless I'm mistaken, I think we found the right flat. Now follow me, Luke. We're going up. Cool. Oh, I nearly forgot. Before we leave, let's review how to use this trunk. To open the trunk, tra tap the icon in the upper right corner of the touchscreen. Inside, there's all sorts of helpful information filled away under different locations. Touch an icon to use it. And to save the progress we've made during our inspection, just tap the icon marked save. This icon is the puzzle index. Tap it to view all the puzzles we've encountered thus far. That's how puzzles are marked with a check and those we've yet to finish are blank. Puzzles we've already finished can be replayed by selecting them from this screen. Also, the index shows the location of unsolved puzzles we've tried so that we may revisit them. That is very generous. I don't feel like we had to go back to too many puzzles in the last one, but there were a few. So, whenever you need to access the trunk, just give it a tap. Oh, hello, person. Hi there, mister. Never seen you around before. Want to hear something useful? Check it out. See that mailbox right over there? Try tapping on it, will ya? Yes! Hint coin! I knew it. Brilliant. That's a hint coin you found there. You ever work a puzzle and get stuck? It's times like that when I bet you'd fancy a hint, yeah? Well, when that happens, you can trade in those shiny hint coins for hints. They're scattered all over the place, which means you should always be on the lookout for them. Tap anything suspicious, okay? Well, good. Well, that's all I had to say. You take it easy, mister. It's a pretty old building, but it looks sturdy enough. I want all the hint coins. Oh, the flowers are blooming. I wonder who takes care of them. More hint coins. Yes! I knew it! How about up here? This place is nice. I'd feel safe walking around here at night. Yes! Alright, I'm not going to do this for, for all of them, but I, I am going to try to bank up some early hint coins. The flowers are nice, but we've got to get into that flat. Yes! Also, like the other game, I'm probably not going to read all the little observations, but... Yes! Ho hopefully, I at least catch the funny ones. This is Dr. Schrader's flat, I'm sure of it. Andrew, are you home? It's Herschel. Herschel Layton. I forgot his first name was Herschel. Sir, are you in there? A doctor? I don't hear anyone in there, Professor. What if he's... There's no time for speculation now. Luke, we must get this door open immediately. 
Hmm, seems to be locked from the inside, but there's a puzzle. Without the key, there's no way to get in. Oh, of course, in my haste, for these keys the doctor included in his letter. Puzzle. Quick, Professor, let me try them on the door. Let me guess, the only one will work. Huh. It's strange, it doesn't seem like any of these keys work on the lock. Luke, don't you see? The doctor has set before us yet another puzzle to solve. The right key, okay. Which key opens the door? As you might expect, the key won't open the door if its shape won't let it pass through the keyhole. Use your stylus to fit keys to the lock. Examine each key carefully and use your stylus to move the keys to find the one that fits the lock. Okay. How did I rotate? Oh, okay. All right. Doesn't look right. You know, what honestly looked right like that, but what that's the weirdest looking key I've seen. I wish you could see like a 3D model, that would make this much easier. Is that it? Is it really that? Because, okay. Uh, the process, this is actually easier than I'm letting it be. Okay. So the front of this key doesn't work. The back of this key doesn't work. So we can tell that key to go away. Right, 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 right. Okay. The front of this key doesn't work. The back of this key doesn't work. Uh, actually, I don't know. The back of that key might work. No, because it's rounded at the top and bottom, whereas this is not. That's got to be it. Nothing else makes sense. Yep. Here goes. Yep. That was almost too easy. Well, you know, that wasn't... It was only because I flipped it around, and I was like, oh, that looks... That's right, did it take you a while to figure out that the portion of the key resembling the grip was actually the part that fit the keyhole? It, it didn't make sense at first, that definitely made that, like... Made me think on it more. Answers can often be found in the most unlikely of places. I don't know what we're going to find in this door, but we're going to find out in the next episode. I hope you're looking forward to this series. I know I am. Uh, we only do the sales pitch once around here where we tell you to like the video, subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, so, so this episode, we're going to do that. And then you'll never hear on the subject until the next series. So uh, let me know in the comments if you're still, in, if you are looking forward to this. That one I do ask for. We, we do, we do the comments thing, but that's, that's it. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you're looking forward to the series. Uh, we also have a discord. I'll have a link to that in the description as well So consider coming and hanging out with us. Anyway, that's gonna do it for me as always Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs>